Okay. okay, good morning to all audience. And today we would like to welcome Miss Cindy. Okay, so before we start, I would like to we would like to share about a few web ethics. So I read aloud. So our first thing will be, we need to remain silent during web seminar. Please kindly shift, switch your microphone into mute mode. O only during Q&A section, participants are allowed to open your microphone. Next will be participants required to wear proper attire during the seminar. Participants are not allowed to share any files, example like GIF or other files in the chat. Only hosts are allowed to share screen. Participants are required to disable your video screen, only allowed to open during Q&A session. Hmm. Private chat is not allowed during the web seminar. And last but not least will be no camera or video shooting is allowed during seminar. The content of the web seminar belongs to Cindy Lim. If any private versions will be taken into legal action. Okay. Okay, so to introduce Miss Cindy. So Miss Cindy, she is a co-founder and executive director of Priority One Tax Service, Sundian Bahad, and she is a licensed tax agent with both Royal Malaysian Customs under the GSD Act 2014 and the Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri Malaysia under Income Tax 1967. So, but let us welcome Miss Cindy for her presentation. Good morning, Sherman. Thank you for the introduction and good morning to all the participants to attend this session um, on the updates of the uh, recent announcement by our Prime Minister and also the Chief Minister from Sarawak. Okay. Um, before I start, I just want to uh share with everyone we'll be talking about the uh, subsidy program so wages subsidy program uh, earlier part in march our prime minister have announced the um, uh, this package subsidy will be available to majikan but in the um, second and the third announcement on this uh, financial assistance, there are some changes on the uh, wages subsidy program. That is why today we have a session on wages subsidy program again. All right. So with this, I would like to share the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, just give me a second. Huh? I dropped the file. Okay, that's good. Basically, the agenda for this morning is uh, we will cover uh, wages subsidy program, the uh, financial assistance to the Magican and the procedure, how to apply and what are the documents needed. And if time allowed, I will cover and share with everyone talking about the grant. Grant for the SME, the amount is 3000 How to apply that? So the latest updates too, and also those micro credit scheme. And the recent announcement on the uh, 6th April, it has been uh, a good news, I would say. It has changed from the 2% uh, interest rate to 0%. Okay, so with this, let's look at this one. Um, this website is served, we, when you log in to Soxo, they will have this special page when you log in, it will give you all the information regarding wages subsidy program. And we have mentioned here, this program is the extension, also called the expansion program from the previous announcement. So what are the differences here? First, they have three categories. Three categories, that's to say, who can eligible to apply this subsidiary. First category, will be, if you look at the first column, is a, they are based on the number of employees in your company. That is 
75 employee in your company, 75 and below. So you are under category one. If your company have the employee from 76 to 200 pack in your company, then you are under category two. And if your company have more than 200 onwards, then you are under category three. Why there is a uh, extension or so-called expansion on this program is because of the request from the Rakyat. A lot of SME have find that the first and the second announcement of the subsidy is uh, it very, very stringent. And if for small and the uh, so-called um, penjaja or so-called the uh, hawker itself, they find that they want to apply, but because of all those stringent application, so that is why uh, this is the expansion subsidy program. I would say this is a good news and more uh, giving more opportunity to uh, cover a greater uh, area for the SME. Okay, now let us look at the second, the other page. We know that the financial, the financial assistance program is uh, this subsidy introduced by the government is mainly for who? It's for the budget gun. It means when the subsidy that you apply, for example, my company apply, then the subsidy amount will be based on certain details. I will explain later. It will credit to the company bank account. Then that money coming in is to help the magician to pay your wages to your employee. So this one is very specific for you to pay your staff gaji. Okay. Let's look at here. So we know who is eligible to apply for this is the magician to apply it. This is a if you are the company of ABC, Sandir Bahad, or you are the sole proprietor, or you are the partnership reserve, that you are qualified for this. But what will happen if you are the freelancer is a, can I apply? As long as you have to register uh, the company or your business is served with the SSM or in Kuching is served, if you are from Kuching, then in Kuching itself, it will be with the uh, inner revenue, the business registration section, and that you are qualified for it. Okay, as long as you are the magic gun. Huh? Okay, then you need to know when to apply and how to apply. This subsidy program have made slightly changes. They have the due date for you to submit your application. For as the previous announcement in March, they did not mention the due date. And here it indicates that this wages subsidy program is served. You have to apply online. This is said the Magican have to apply. It started from 9 April until the 15 September. So anything after 15 September, you you want to apply but you can't already so that is the closing that is so called the closing that is served so application is served it has started some of our friends um have logged into this uh, website so, so website of course the uh, fill in the application form and also certain document need to attach is it very difficult to apply? I would say no, as long as you meet the criteria. When you submit the application online, go to this website, https www.pakaso.gov.my and you follow the link, then you can submit your application. Okay, now you know how and when to submit. Next, you need to know what will be the process now. A lot of friends will ask, after I submit, when my company can receive the subsidy and how much I will receive? 
according to the uh, condition, one of the condition is once you submit and indicate and fulfill the other's condition, they will take seven to 14 days from your application, eh? the after you submit, that the approval will just take about seven to 14 days is the, for your application to be approved. So how do you know that your application is approved or not? They will send the email to you, okay? So in terms of timing, why, why seven to 14 days? I think the important thing for the business owner, if you're the magician, you run your own business. When you want to submit, this will link to your cash flow. If for the month of May, your business have, uh, will not be able to function from, say, all the uh, 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 clause because of the MCO, the movement control order. So the, uh, the business cannot carry on. So cash flow is not coming in. So when should I apply? To me will be suggestion that calculate or come up with a simple cash flow statement first. Cash flow will be talking about the money that you need to pay your gaji every month is how much. And with your own money, for example, your business, you have balance of money in your bank account. That balance of the money that you have in your bank account, how long it can sustain you? Is it one month, two months, or three months? Or only can be two months? So after May, then there is no more money in the bank account to pay the gaji. So when should you apply? We will suggest that you apply now. Because a lot of applications going to uh, SOXO, no doubt they have indicated that the process is uh, so-called once you submit the application, fulfill all the conditions, they will just take seven to 14 days because the requirement is really simplify a lot. So this tie back to your own cash flow uh, position in your company, okay? All right, now try to look at it. Now the boss would like to know how much will be the subsidy? Here you were looking at three categories. Remember when we look at the first uh, page, talking about this subsidy program, they have three categories. So the first category is served is for those really, really small, uh, medium sized entrepreneurs. That is, you have employee, 75 employee and below. If you only have three employees, can you apply? Yes, you can apply. If you have one employee, can you apply? Yes, you can apply. You still fall under the category of number one. Then how much is the subsidy? The subsidy is 1,002 per employee per month. This subsidy program is for treatment. Treatment from when? From the date of the approval of your application. That part I will explain later. Huh? Then the second category will be medium, really medium size of entrepreneur. You have 76 to 200 employees. So you can visualize this type of operation of the uh, uh, company. It could be uh, manufacturing, it could be uh, the anti selling manufactured uh, quail lapis, for example. If you have visited the quail lapis uh, anti-manufacturing um, part of their factory, so the staff will be around that, 76 onward. So they are, no doubt is a so-called medium sign, but because they need more hand, so-called manpower. So the company have 76 onward, you have your employee, uh, but not more than 200 then you fall under the second category, that is the medium. You look at the uh, center of the, uh, the pouch of the money that you will receive. So that subsidy is $800 per employee per month, $800. Huh? Then come to the last column is serve is your company have 201 employees and above. 
that is really more to a uh, bigger sign than the medium sign it could be um, would it mean that this one is only for manufacturing company is a no it could be a service industry like one of our contacts there are the engineering firm uh, architect firm and the engineering firm they have the employee more than 200 over so they fall under this category not only manufacturing side so here if you apply if i'm the magician i applied under the category number three the subsidy that i will receive will be six hundred dollar per employee per month so in your mind you will be asking this subsidiary subsidy that i'm going to receive is only for paying my gaji for who for employee is it all the employee qualify first we need to understand this subsidy program is served is for employee that the monthly salary is below 4000 so that is still for b40 group here i just show a simple uh, scenario how do you uh, calculate the uh, subsidy that you will receive um, for example if you based on your company is qualified under the first category you have less than 75 pack employee and you make the application and all your 75 pack employee is a monthly salary less than 4000 for example i'm the auntie yeah? uh, selling the uh, manufacturer the quail lapis one i need all the uh, 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 employee to do the different processes in my uh, production of the quail lapis for example flour mix the flour the machine will do that but i still need hand to do that huh? you can visualize that so all oh, their gaji is below four thousand some of them may be one thousand two some of them may be two thousand if you are the supervisor some of them may be uh, just the max come to three thousand not four thousand so your company you have 75 pack of your uh, employee all below four thousand monthly gaji then you will calculate that uh, for subsidy that you are going to receive 1,002 times three months times the number of employee that you submit for this application so that is the government subsidy will give you to help you to pay the gaji for your pakreja if you have 75 uh, pakreja but some of them the gaji is more than 4000 can they qualify can you apply you still can apply but in your application you need to exclude exclude those receive gaji more than 4000 and above so then the amount of subsidy that you receive will be very accordingly okay all right that's good let's come here when the uh, application is approved they will credit to your magican account uh, like every month you pay the uh, sokso and the so-called to the Picasso itself you pay online so that bank account that you pay online to sokso they will credit to that bank account so this one is simple okay in terms of where they you don't need to go to their office to get the money or submit the application form no everything is online huh? all right so now come to here who is eligible or who is not eligible now you are under category one our explanation will be simplify everything using the first category uh, your company is less than 75 uh, employee but you know you need to know in your application when you submit in your employee listing that is her pakreja listing who will be in this listing will be in green color in the box of the green color one anyone the monthly salary below ringgit malaysia 4000 so that is where you can include in the employee listing so this is the condition that the magician need to fulfill when they submit the application huh? it doesn't mean i have 75 pack 
then I will submit my application based on 75 pack of my employee. Then you will get that much of the uh, subsidy. No, it's not like that. Huh? Okay. Next, have a look at this. What will be the other condition if I apply under the wages subsidy program? First, the Magican must make sure the purpose of this program is that government want to make sure that the staff not retrenched by the Magican. Because now I subsidy you, you receive the subsidy from me, I subsidize you, so you cannot have, after receive the money, then you retrench your staff, cannot. So that is one of the conditions. And another condition is that you cannot force your staff to take unpaid leave. Or you, uh, you tell your pekerja uh, say, sekarang business tak bagus, then uh, go for pay cut, also cannot. Those name, employee name, included in the listing, afterward I will show you the form. If all those names is listed, in your application of the subsidy, you have to fulfill this condition. That's to say, you cannot retrench them, you cannot force them to take unpaid leave, and you also cannot potong gaji. For how long? For three months. Three months, eh? for example, uh, at May, you get the approval of the subsidy, three months. Then subsequent treatment, can you dismiss them? Can you retrench them? Cannot. Basically will be the room that you need to maintain this group of employee for six months. Okay, I simplify the process of explanation also. Huh? So that's to say, as a magic gun, you are not allowed to dismiss, that's to say, retrench the Pekreja following treatment after the end of the wages subsidy program. So basically it's three months you receive the subsidy because the package is for three months. When you receive this money, you cannot retrace or force them to leave or pay cut. Then after three months, you also need to maintain that. So basically six months. Okay, come. Look at the example here. Just a simple explanation. Eh? If you submit your application, say in May, now you in April, you try to understand how to apply that and work out your cash flow, then you say, okay, I submit it in May. So when you submit in May, so your April salary, you as a magician, you have to pay your staff. Okay, you continue to pay. Then the fund that you receive, you submit your application in May, then 14 days, say, you receive the approval. So you receive the money also. So counting from May onward, that the subsidy that you receive will be for June, July, August. So three months per cash. Subsidy is for three months. Huh? Okay. Then if I am from a second and a third category, they have one more condition need to fulfill. The other condition all remain, eh? no change. This is a uh, number of staff, you are in second and the third category. And the employee qualify for you to submit this subsidy program is gaji below 4,000, for example. These are all remain, nothing changed. But if you are under second and the third category, this is say you have employee more than 75 and above, but we in 200. So here, one of the condition you need to do is you need to prove that your company revenue have dropped, declined. By how many percent? 50%. That to say from January, February, March, April, for example. Now it's April. So the COVID-19 and the uh, MCO started in March 18. So how are you going to do the comparison of your uh, revenue? Revenue will be your income pendapatan uh, for your business, your income, huh? sales system. So here is this scenario, the example that you can follow. 
what the uh, condition have fixed is you need to tell the parinta, that is to say the government, that your sales have dropped, declined. Why? How do you prove that? You have to show the comparison. Now is March, for example, March. You need to compare January. Oh, is there a decline of 50%? And also February and January. If you compare February and January, oh, there is a drop. If now is April, you submit the application, say in April, huh? then you need to show your January versus your March revenue. Is still a drop of 50%. If yes, uh, then you qualify for the submission of your application. If you are under category number two, more than 75 pack of your employee in the company. So this is the one condition that you need to fulfill. Then what type of document that you need to show to uh, say Picasso during the application, you need to show your sale ledger or you have the post system like cash register system in your uh, Kadai, for example, then print out from your post system. That will show that, okay, for the month of March, my sale dropped in this amount. And compared to January, January say I have 1,000, my revenue. Eh? March, I only have $200. So that is more than 50%, no? then you qualify for that, okay? This compare revenue for category number two and three, you must submit the supporting document. For category one, no need. So category one will be really the SME. So they uh, do not need to look at your sales, whether it's dropped or not. They're based on the number of the employee that you have. Okay, all right. So now we look at the other one. Assume you have submit, you want to apply. Now you understand, you say, mm, I want to apply the uh, wages subsidy program now. So next, you would like to know, if you would like to apply the subsidy, wages subsidy program, what are the documents I need to stand by? All this document, where can I get it? You can get it from the SOXO website itself. Okay. When you log in just now, when I show you the link under the application online, you click the link and underneath itself is uh, after the explanation, they will have this uh, uh, document you need to upload. So these are the information that you need to get it ready. So the document needed for application first is the borang. Borang of the list of the Yopakreja. This is in Excel format. Afterward, I have attached the form here also, but you can download from the website. Then the second one is your Akwan. That is for you to do the statutory declaration. What you need to sumpa. Sumpa, it means the information I gave it to you is true and no false. And the employee that I have based on the list that I submit will be retained for three months to six months. So these are the things, okay? And this one you need to be um, signed in front of the uh, commissioner or of you need to either get the lawyer to do that. If not, you go to district office. If I'm from Batong, if I'm from uh, Sirike, I, I, our place would not have the uh, so-called uh, commissioner for art, but I have the district office. Ah, then the district officer can sign up. They got a job and sign is uh, okay. So I have another 10 minutes to go, then we will reconnect again. Eh? Then another borang that, that you need to submit is the BRN. BRN is your business registration number because they need to make sure that your company is registered. But they want you to uh, honestly telling that I have this. That is a sample or letter 
that is uh, you need to sign and indicate this is your business registration number so this is the link that you need to click to get this information huh? shaman can we continue or we will uh, reconnect again for everyone i continue huh? Can you right. continue first? Continue, huh? all right. I think I can finish. Well. So here we'll be talking about the uh, document. Eh? What you need to submit online will be the name of the worker that below 4,000 monthly salary, Ringgit Malaysia, and the uh, bank account. They need the first page of your bank statement you need to upload. And then third is your business registration number which a letter need to be prepared under your letterhead and upload. Then number four is the copy of your business registration. That is your certificate. When you, if I'm sole proprietor of partnership, I will have the trade license, for example. If I'm a Sundaran Bahad, then I have my Borang 9, different document. Then item number five is Aquan, that is the statutory declaration. And for item number six onward, that is where you are under category number two or three. You need to support your uh, reason why there is a decline of the sale itself. So here, I will not explain for that. Huh? Just that the main one is whether you are from category number one, number two, number three. You need to submit all the documents from one to five. Okay? Understand? Huh? All right, that's good. Now I want to show you this form. It's a bit small, but you can zoom in and see. This is the Excel form uh, Soxo have prepared for everyone. That when you submit the application, this is the listing that you need to uh, fill in. And then after that, PDF it and upload. Okay. So here you could see that they need the Pakreja uh, detail, including the Gaji Samasa. That is to say your current month Gaji is right. It may be January, there is an uh, increment, then February, March. When you submit in April, so what will be the gaji samasa? Lah? So this is in Excel format. Huh? Okay, then the next one, ah, this is the Aquan. So they have standardized format for you. Here need to be signed by the uh, Magican and need the chop of the Magican also. Lah? Okay, so upload from uh, after sign and statutory declaration is served and upload. Then the other one, ah, this is the sample they have shown us also. When uh, prepare under your letterhead and need to indicate your uh, business registration number. Okay, this is the sample they have prepared. I think they have simplified the process quite a lot as compared to the first and the second announcement under the wages subsidy program. Okay, I think I can stop here before we go to the grant. Uh, Shaman, is it okay? So over to you, Shaman. Thank you. Uh, before we proceed, is there any question from the participants? Any question on that? Yes. Mm. Ask some questions. Okay. Yes. Cindy, uh, you 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 are not, you say just now SSM before first of January twenty twenty, and also first uh. April twenty twenty. Can they just oh. read? now if they are not the EIS member? Have they applied the, e, uh, the ERP? Uh, yes. The Employment they, Retention Program. Have they applied or have they not? Not yet, not yet. Is they they are not applied? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they want to do everything now because they see the, okay. the incentive is there. Okay, so if they now register for the Pakreja, including the Magican, the company also start to register with uh, EIS and SOXO, then the yes. application is not this month. Eh? For example, I submit, I register now this month. Then the application will be, your application can submit online will be next month. Yeah, so we can still do that. Eh? Yes, you can. You okay, can. thank you. All right, thanks. Any question? If not, then over to you, Shaman. Thank you. Then we continue. Okay, since we do not have question, we will have about five five minutes break before the next one regarding to grant. Is it Miss Cindy? 
Yes, correct. Uh, Grant and the uh, financial assistance in terms of loan and all those micro uh, credit scheme. Okay. Okay, okay right. so we have a Good. five minutes break. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Shaman.